There's an early example of a social justice warrior type, or what we used to call a bleeding heart liberal, in Thomas Love Peacock's comic novel Nightmare Abbey, published in 1818. The protagonist of the book is Skythrop, modelled on the poet Shelley, who is a friend of Peacock's. He lives in the magnificent, if dilapidated, Nightmare Abbey on the Lincolnshire coast. One day Skythrop is suddenly confronted with a mysterious female called Stella, though this turns out not to be her real name, who claims she is seeking refuge from what she calls an atrocious persecution. The exact nature of this persecution remains vague. This description follows shortly after Stella has been allowed to stay at Nightmare Abbey. Stella, in her conversations with Skythrop, displayed a highly cultivated and energetic mind, full of impassioned schemes of liberty and impatience of masculine usurpation. She had a lively sense of all the oppressions that are done under the sun, and the vivid pictures which her imagination presented to her of the numberless scenes of injustice and misery which are being acted out at every moment in every part of the inhabited world gave an habitual seriousness to her physiognomy that made it seem as if a smile had never once hovered on her lips. We later discover that Stella has been fleeing from her father, who had chosen a husband for her, but you'll have to read the book yourself to find out what happens.